Byredo finally launched their newest large palette, the first one I've ever been interested in, and it finally arrived today. I'm gonna have timestamps linked on the video so you can skip to whichever portion of this video that you wanna see. If you're curious about the details, stay right there. If you wanna skip ahead and just watch the eye tutorial, go ahead and click where you wanna click and I'll see you at the end. So let's get into the nitty gritty about this eye palette. This palette is a 12 month shelf life. Woo, 12 months. <laughs> for $115, I picked mine up off of Selfridges. It is still in stock there for $110. This palette is made in Italy, and there are four different types of finishes. There are sparkle, shimmer, metallic, and matte shades. Unfortunately, those are not listed here on the box or on the actual palette itself. The palette is said to be enclosed in a steel component. When I first touched it, it actually felt plastic, so I, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure. When I first swatched this palette, one of my shades, this one here, I'm going to be very careful with it. This one here fell right out, wasn't even pressed in properly. However, it did not shatter, thankfully, and I was able to put it gently back into the pan. Byredo's website says this is a limited edition 18 pan palette that is inspired by the colors of Sweden and the natural rural landscapes. Cool shades of northern springs from serene nudes via glittering stones to rich and velvety deep blues. The shades are described as soft and creamy with a lightweight second skin texture that delivers rich color payoff in a single stroke. Each of the shadows are listed on the back with the color names so that you can tell which one is which, but they do not describe the finish of the shadow. This palette has a 12 month shelf life with 30 grams of product divided by 18 shades, but keep in mind each shadow finish will weigh differently depending on how it is made. And last but not least, this is the box that it comes in. It unfortunately does not come in the cloth sleeve. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my About Face Primer. I've been loving this one. I kind of have no idea which direction I wanna take this which is really unfortunate because at one point I did have an idea of how I wanted to do this and now I don't. I am gonna start with a matte shade though. I'm gonna start off with a Sonia G Blender Pro and I'm gonna go into this matte shade in the palette. Whoa, okay, let's share the love a little bit and put some over here. Don't want all of it in one place on the same eye. much of that pigment off as possible. I didn't think I was gonna go for such a smoky look, but I guess I am. Did you guys see that Danessa Myricks teamed up with James from My Kitco, the co-founder? Oh my gosh, he is so talented. Danessa and James are collaborating on a bl blush brush launch. I definitely do not need any more brushes, but let me tell you, Danessa is creating a yummy skin brush line and I'm all about it. I'm gonna switch to a refer 14 and I'm gonna pick up the shade Steel Ray, just on the tip of the brush here. I'm gonna slowly build it up because I'm not really sure how deep and smoky this is gonna get. You know what I need is one of those tapered brushes that Danessa is launching. So I can get right in this crevice. I hope you guys enjoyed the format of eyeshadow swatching on my lids. I thought it was 
absolutely difficult to do with my eyes. But I like doing that better than just swatching because you can see how it would actually look on your eyes. And even though it left my eyes on fire, I feel like that's the way to go, although I'm gonna have to do it for much smaller uh, palettes and not an 18 pan. I'm gonna switch over to a rougher one and pick up the shade Lunar Rhythm on the flat side of the brush. And I'd rather do smaller, excuse me, I'd rather do lighter placements and build up than have to find a way to buff it down. I wanted to go green, but these blues, and I've been doing a lot of green looks lately, so wasn't really too unique to do a green again. I'm gonna go back in now and buff out with that Ref for 14 brush right where I placed the other blue shade and just diffuse it. And I'm gonna take that same Sonia G Blender Pro, pick up just a little bit more of that matte shade and buff gently around the edges. I'm gonna pick up the shade Sunbeam on a Sonia G T3, and I'm actually just gonna pick it up on the tip of the brush here, place this on the inner corner third, Just gonna gently sweep it into that blue without overlapping too much. And I love this shade of yellow. This is absolutely breathtaking. I'm gonna take Pink Flame now and on a Sonia G Builder brush. And I'm going to place this all over my lid. And this is dry. And now on my finger, I'm going to take Grounding Sky and I'm going to bridge those two shades together. I'm really not sure I like that, so I'm going to take a rougher number two and pick up Solar Flare. And kind of place that over the front here. I think I like that just a little bit better. Oh yeah. I'm going to take that same shade on our rougher 13 and highlight my brow arch with it. And last but not least, I'm gonna take a Sonia G Soft Definer and take the shade Steel Light. Is that the shade? Or Soft Beam. I think it's Soft Beam. And I'm just gonna place it here to highlight my inner corner. I'm using as many shades as possible to see what will happen, to see if they go together, create a cohesive look. I'm going to take a Sonia G Flat Definer and pick up the shade Sun Dried and place that on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to switch to a Refer 3 and I'm going to take that deep blue shade in the outer corner there and place that on my lower lash line. And my eyes are watering already. I'm gonna take the original Sonia G Blender Pro that I used at the very beginning 
and holding it as far back as possible, I'm going to gently buff around this outer corner. And here you have it. I finished off my look with my Juvia's Place Royal Liner in my waterline. I added on a pair of Kiss Lashes in the style High Bun. And I finished my lips with the Hourglass Expose Lip Liner and the Chanel Rouge Allure Lay Extrait. But I don't remember the name of the shade, so I'll put that on the screen somewhere. And these are all of the shades swatched top to bottom. Look number two with the Byredo Mineral Scapes palette. Sorry if I'm blinding you. I'm gonna do green. None of my face makeup has changed for this and my eyes are primed with the exact same about face primer. I'm gonna start off with a ref for 15 and go into the dusty matte shade Sun Dried. And I'm gonna use this to buff into my crease. Start with windshield wiper motions first. Once I have it placed, I'm gonna start doing a circular buffing motions. And now with a clean rougher zero one, I'm gonna pick up sandstone, the third shade in the palette. And I'm going to pat this all over my lid. I'm gonna take that original Refer 15 and buff around those edges. No additional product. I'm gonna take a clean Refer 02 brush and go into this shade. What is this called? Rock bed? I'm gonna to try to place that In the center of my lid. It's not really doing anything. Let me try it with my finger. I'm not getting what I want out of it. That's a little bit better. And this is a clean rougher 13. I'm just gonna gently buff around the edges of that shimmer. I'm gonna take a Sony G soft definer and go into the Champagne Gold Steel Light. We're gonna use this as an inner corner highlight and an accent. I think I did the yellow gold last time, so this one should be good. This one's quite a bit more crumbly in the pan. I'm 
That's so pretty. I love it. I'm going to take a clean refer 14 and go into the shade mineral just on the tip of the brush and I'm going to use this to highlight. I cleaned off my Sony G soft definer. I'm going to pick up that original matte shade sun dried and sweep that under my lash line. The mirror in this palette is actually large enough to be able to use it, but I just have this habit of using my large mirror. I cleaned off my Sony G soft definer. I'm going to go into pink flame and I'm going to use this under my lash line. Gently sweep it about halfway across. And I'm gonna wipe that off one more time. And now I'm gonna pick up that shade River Mist on the same brush. And I'm gonna bring it all around this outer third. And here we are, look number two with the Byredo Mineralscape palette. For my waterline, I use the KVD pencil in radium green. And then for my tight line, I used a Wayne Goss black coal pencil. And my lashes are the same as they were in the first look, which is High Bun from Kiss. I am so impressed. These shadows really did live up to the expectation that I was so hoping for. Redeemed by Rado for me. I feel like this palette truly encapsulates what Byredo was hoping to encapsulate. The color story is truly gorgeous and it captures all of Sweden in the pictures that I have ever seen in this one palette. Now granted, I've never been there. I've only ever seen pictures. So when I picture Sweden, I picture this color story. It is truly breathtaking to look at even in pictures. I can only imagine what it would look like in person. So this palette for me is a win. The last palette I had, the Quint, it really let me down. I wasn't sure that I was going to enjoy Byredo at all, but this palette has just redeemed Byredo for me. It makes me want to try more. I don't regret not picking up any of the older palettes. They, they didn't speak to me. This color story does. I love the blues, I love the greens. My only complaint is I wish there were more mattes in this palette. Out of all 18 shadows that I have here, and I'm afraid to hold it up because of this one shadow, I have played with 13 total, which means I still need to play with it again to kind of get an overall picture of this palette. So for first impressions, I have to say, I think the $115 price tag Granted, spend money how you want to spend money. If it's not worth it to you, it's not worth it to you. But for the 115 that I spent, this is worth it. Well, actually, I spent 110 because I got it off sale for ages. But for me, it's worth it. I feel as though I got my money's worth. I truly enjoyed this experience and I cannot wait to keep playing with it. I really feel as though I'm excited when I pick up this palette. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a like and subscribe for more content. I do plan to do more videos with this palette. And as always, everything on my face is listed down below. Those links are affiliated. So if you click on those links, I do earn a small commission. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it. <laughs>